Hi guys, welcome to my review of Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain for the PS4. This game has been anticipated long enough. Why? Firstly, th this is the first Metal Gear Solid that's going to be on an open war, which is going to be very, very interesting. Secondly, it's the most expensive Metal Gear Solid game. And lastly, and most importantly, it's the last video game that Hideo Kojima will ever be involved, particularly on Metal Gear series. Why? Because the president of Konami fought with Kojima for many reasons, and thus the cancellation of PT happened, and when Kojima will finish the game, he will leave the company. This is very sad. But I'm not really worried for Kojima, because he has a lot of money, he can create his own company, and he can make his own project. Just like the creator of Mega Man, that, he, that he's focusing on Mighty Number no. 9. But anyway, we're not going to speak about the future of Metal Gear Solid. We're just going to speak about Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain. Kojima, last video game on Metal Gear Solid. So without any delays guys, let's get started. The story of the game begins after the events of Ground Zero, a big box is awakening on a hospital, particularly in Cyprus. What the? Did she spoke Greek? Unbelievable. So Hideo Kojima decided that he wants to be realistic. Amazing! Now then. Wow! Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I have to say that the graphics are something. perfect. Please listen and try. Not and the voiceover is perfect. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes. Let's be ready, no. guys, you for one of the twists of the long. game. I'm afraid it's been. Nine years. Unbelievable! Nine years! Hideo Kojima did this move to make Big Boss a relatable character to the newcomers and to the old comers to the series. And now you're gonna see something completely different from the game. You can change Big Boss' face. And believe me, it's gonna play a major part to the story. That's all I'm about to say for this game. The story is perfect. Maybe Hideo Kojima's best storyline that he ever come up with. Very good. Now let's remove this. And now we're gonna see one of the best Your face has healed beginning to the to game. The truth, this let's is be ready for this. Protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. You I really like the direction of the game. It makes you prepare for the worst yet to come. This is really awesome. Hey, yep, the massacre begins. All right then. Yet it's time for Big Boss once again to step up and become the legendary soldier once again. So we start the game by Big Boss barely moves up. This is very impressive. And it's very understandable considering that he's been in coma for nine years. So I, I have to say that I'm surprised that the developers try to be realistic about this. We're getting out of here. And this is really impressive. What the? Is it supposed to be the predecessor of Psycho Mantis? Hell yeah! Speaking of the boss of the game, the boss of the game are really, really impressive. The, the developers did a very good job and making one of the best bosses of all time. And believe me, they are really, really awesome. Alright, let's shoot him down. 
Okay, this is just um, a mini boss for the prologue, but the other boss is gonna be awesome, and so does this boss character. But we're not gonna focus on him entirely, and now we have to focus on the gameplay of this game right now. The gameplay of the game, just as I said back in my review of Ground Zero, is a highlight. Why? Because it's an open war environment, you can move anywhere you want, you can ride motorcycles, tanks, and then plenty of more. And I truly like the environment of the game. It's pretty pretty awesome. The soundtrack is great. And I really like the real time event. When the day goes away and then it becomes night. And then it becomes a sandstorm. There's so much thing that's happening in this game. You can make your tactics, you can either attack the enemies or just avoid them, much like your typical Metal Gear Solid game. And yeah, this game also has side missions, which are pretty awesome. There's plenty of variety in the side missions. You can either uh, kidnap one of the soldiers, you can either destroy uh, the satellites, you can do anything, depends on the mission. And I truly find it very fascinating. You can also hide be at the right or the left side of the horse as you can avoid being detected. Let's see, can I avoid them? Shit. I guess I'm not really that great on stealth genre. Okay, maybe I was unlucky. But anyway, better luck next time. One thing that I like about the game is that it's a very huge video game. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and here it is, the very good gameplay style, where you are in a slow motion, and you can have the opportunity to shoot the enemy down. And we can also hide him, or take him with us, depend on your choice. Well, in my case, I will hide him somewhere. Or I shall put him to the bed. 90-90, man! Okay, here's Miller that we have to save. He's okay. What took you so long? Reference to Shideo Kozima in Ground Zero. And here's some of the other cool enemies. They are very dangerous. They hunt their prey. They find their prey. And kill it. So we have to avoid this guy right away. Come on, we have to get out of here. Alright, I think we lost them. For now, I guess. Oh boy. I don't really like it. Oh shit. They are really just like Sonic the Hedgehog. But anyway, let's go to our chopper. As you can see guys, we can take the cassettes of the infos of the other guys, we can hear some songs, we can either go and select some of the missions, the side mission, the main mission, we can send some of our soldiers that we can find during the game on their own individual mission, and yes, we can find location to land the plane anytime, anywhere we want. And we can prepare big boss for the mission yet to come. Okay. We, we can either destroy this thing or start it off. But I'll start it off because I'm a nice guy. Okay. Now we can put them to sleep. Great. Headshot. Okay. Damn it. I may shoot him, but I didn't shoot him in the head. Alright, let's use the other one. Alright. Okay, man. 90-90. Okay. You're asleep now. Now let's go to the target. So that we can either kill him or capture him. This is our choice, what we're going to do. I say that we should let him join in our cause. The Diamond Dogs. Yep. I'm putting him in my team. 
shows that you will be a great soldier. And after the mission you can either leave with a helicopter or run away from the hot zone immediately. And yep, you can either make the villains talk, and you can either kill them, and just put them into a sleep. Your choice. Thankfully, we can make the other members of our team to create our weapons, and send them to any location that we want, and wait for them to arrive. Okie dokie. Let's see. As I said, we can set our members of Diamond Dogs to their separate missions. We can take the Encyclopedia and plenty of more to do. And here is our delivery. Let's take it. Alright. Okie dokie. This one. is the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. A very, very good game. Maybe Hideo Kojima's best video game ever. So, I highly recommend you to play this game. And let's go to my conclusion of this review, right now. To conclude the review, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, is a perfect video game. The graphics were perfect, the characters were perfect, the story was perfect. Everything is perfect in Metal Gear Solid 5. This is by far Hideo Kojima's best video game that he ever done. And I'm really impressed. So as you all understand, my rating for this game is 10 out of 10. Buy this game immediately. Don't you even dare to not buy this game because this game is his masterpiece. He put so much heart, he a lot of sweat, blood into this game. He did it. And it's too sad that he left, that he was gonna leave the company. So Hideo Kojima, I have to say one thing. I know you're not gonna watch this video because there's so many videos about your game. But I'm gonna say this. Bravo Hideo Kojima. You did a pretty good job. And I'm proud to be a Metal Gear Solid fanboy. Thanks for all the entertainment that you brought us on the Metal Gear Saga. And I hope that you'll bring us more into the ne in the near future. That's all for today, folks. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And have a good gaming.